All right, it's the Bad and Bougie Bro Sports Podcast. Oh my gosh. It's Jimmy Jam. It's yeah. episode four. Already? Of season two. Of season two, that man. Was- <laughs> you know what? Episode three was so good, we had to have this young man come back. Uh-oh. For four. For second. Part two. Yeah. Yes, sir. Of, of, Part two. Of episode three. Of episode Pretty three. Much, yeah. 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 He must man, be good. Guy, man, 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 I Phenomenal. told you. I know how to pick talent. Yeah. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Man, we had to hey. have that coach Von Trepper. But man, you know yeah. what though? I think you were out of line when you were asking, when you were searching for talent. Yeah. And you told all the people that have a wet T-shirt contest. Oh. He yeah. protested. Yeah. He was like, "It's too much man in here." Yeah. It's too much man in the room. Yeah. Welcome to the show again, man. Hey, thank thanks you. for having me, boys. Thanks Welcome back. For coming it back. back. It was a fucking blast last time. It was, man. I've been looking forward to it since last week, you know. So. <laughs> it was fun. If it was so much of a blast, we better blast it off with yes, a toast. Oh, 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 hold on, I gotta get, I gotta get the sound, gotta get the sound right. Get hold, on, hold on, sound right. All right, all right. This, is this a good drink? Blast it off. Oh, you, this is a you great ready? drink. Okay, ready? you ready? All right. This is episode four, boys. Wait, oh my goodness. Ready? There we go. There we go. go. <laughs> 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 we gotta teach. We gotta teach Riley. You gotta do this oh, first. Then I, I, didn't, I didn't do the bouncing. That was my. Oh, that was my back bounce, I didn't bounce. It. That was my fault. Uh, my military brother hey. would be having a fit right now. Who's oh, that? God. Who's that? I said my military brother. Oh, your military brother. Uh, my little brother's in the military. I mean, that's, that's where the bounce started. You know, uh, any friend of mine that's, that's checking the show Ooh. out, and they hear me do the little fairy dust. <laughs> They're like, D- Doug is tripping right now. <laughs> hey, man, again, welcome to the show, man. Yeah, we really appreciate you, man. And I know Riley, uh, we, I, well, I forgot. On this episode, we've got to introduce, reintroduce Riley. Okay? Reintroduce. Okay. Right. okay, so so ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we were talking about it before the show kicked off. Ladies and gentlemen... Mr. Ricochet Riley. Love it. Hello. Yeah, baby. That's going to be my new nickname. What's going on? What's Hello, going guys. on? Hello, Jimmy. How's yeah, dude, that's going to be your Twitter handle. I'm not handle, as good dude. as you because oh, I'm not as young on, and pretty like you. I'm old and... One foot in the grave. Oh, come on, hey, bro, Jimmy. But, but, my foot, but the foot looks nice. I was gonna say, hey, hey, hold on, hold on. Let me get a better shot of that. Put the shoe up again. Man, I see them yeah, socks. I see them socks. Okay, okay. Man, oh, we got the bottoms. Oh, hold on. Oh, we got uh, we got gray man, bottoms is my, what we got, but oh, your socks. Oh, my socks, man. Now, socks. listen here. Check me out. <laughs> you can't lift your leg as high as you need it to the camera. We'll embarrass you. Oh, my gosh. Let me take that SpongeBob. Shoot. I ripped my pants. Yeah, I ripped my pants. Hey. Man, they telling old man jokes up in here now, man. man. Oh, shit. Knock, knock. Hey. Man. The old man. man's ringing. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Hit, hit him with a gig. Get, hey, man. Pick up the dirt. So, no, you know what, dirt, man? Dude, I'm always dirty. You, I, I, well, we found that shit in a good way. Yeah, man, I good. like in this guy. Yeah, he made it fun. <laughs> so, let's... Just let's, being me, dog. You know what? Let's see. Riley, do you got a question for him before uh, I ask him this? I... I Throw guess, that bone. Man. Yeah, sure. Um, get that dead what, air what, out of here. Let's go. What was the? What was the? Has the youth league like changed? Like, was it worse? Wait, I, I asked that in the last episode. Didn't yeah, I? He did. I did ask that. In the last that episode. was last episode, I, man. Ricochet. Well, that's why he's ricochet. That's why he's ricochet. Right. That's why. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. You want the part two, Riley? You want the part two? You want part two? It's like another. another yeah, let's let's try it again. Okay. Um. Um. We did ask pretty much. Okay, okay, Ricochet okay, Riley. Okay. <laughs> All right. My question go is, go go. since you've been coaching, have there been – I know there's been some players, you know, checking each other on the boards and getting into a little fight. And it, can can the kids fight first of all? I got a second question. Can do you guys let the kids fight on the ice? So, oh, yeah. so I wish I could say yes, but – Unfortunately, for some reason, USA Hockey is now being run by a bunch of fucking twats, dude. A bunch of pussies. There you go. They don't mm-hmm. want, they're for some reason trying to take the violence out of the game where I'm like, dude, it's Ooh. the part of the fucking game, bro. Like, 
So they don't they don't punch each other in the guts and stuff like that. Well, it's less tolerated amongst like the youth. So like anything that's sanctioned by USA Hockey under the age of like anything eighteen U under, Mm -hmm. any sort of fighting is like not really tolerated for the most part anymore. Mm. And unfortunately, like as a coach, you know I want to let it happen. I'll be honest. I'll say it on camera. I wish I could tell one of my players to get on the ice, shed his gloves, rip somebody's helmet off. And fucking pound his face in right. for being a dirty player. Okay, you don't wear glasses, but I'm gonna show you how you can get away with that. Well, okay, when the action's going on, you do it like this. You go. Oh man, yeah, I didn't Ooh. see shit. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? He jumped him and <laughs> fucking punched him in the face. Like, come on, I don't. You know, actually, I gotta go clean my contacts. <laughs> yeah. that, no, unfortunately, no, it's not something that you can do. But I'm glad you asked that question because. <laughs> We ran into a dirty team last week at Belltire uh, 2009. I got zero problem saying this on camera. Fuck Belltire 2009. Fuck their coaches. Fuck their players. <laughs> oh, hold on now. Hold on. We might need to go to Be- Belltire. Yeah, we Bell might need to go to them for a sponsorship. Whole, fuck that whole organization, <laughs> dog. Straight up. Straight up. Some of the most classist, classless, dude. Like, straight up, disrespectful, classless players. And it's so shamingly so is led by the coaching staff itself. Um, we're 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 in a we're in a championship game on Sunday afternoon against this team. We had just played them the night prior. They beat us four to two the night prior. We were winning two nothing going into the third period. Um, this team was just dirty as fuck, man. The refs weren't really calling all that much. So me and our, me and my coach uh, Coach Colin, we so humbly led our team without our. Uh, without our main leader, Coach Joey, because he was out of town with his uh, 2013 team. And uh, we led these boys pretty damn well. But it got to the point in uh, Saturday night where, <laughs> dude, the thing is, is Coach Collins, our fucking level-headed guy, he doesn't ever yell, nothing like that. Dude, he fucking, it's the end of the game. There's like two minutes left, dude, and like just the refs are dog shit. The other <laughs> team has been just playing <laughs> dirty as fucking oh shit. So it. Colin comes over, and we got this giant kid in our team, dude. He loves taking penalties. He loves throwing dirty hits. It's a fucking game, dude. It's his game. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. he's actually pretty damn good at, at, at hockey itself, too. So he comes over to him. He goes, he taps him on the head. He's like, hey, do you want to go fucking hit someone again? And he looks up at Colin, and he was like, yeah. And he was like, well, then get the fuck on the ice. <laughs> He's like, go light somebody up. He's like, I didn't give a fuck if it's clean or yeah. not, dude. So what does Buddy do? Dude, drop, ref drops the puck, bro. Beelines to a player. That wasn't even near the puck, dude. It wasn't anywhere wow. close to it. And just lights this kid the fuck <laughs> yeah. up, dude. Like, puts him in the next, next mm. fucking week, man. And, like, the refs were so bad that he called the penalty on our player. And I saw, I looked over at Coach Collin, you know, after he called the penalty – on our guy, put him in the box right before they were about to drop the puck or, like, right when they were getting ready to line up. I tapped my second biggest player on the head, and I was like, do you want to go fuck someone up? He looks at me, he's like, yeah, coach. And I'm like, well, get the fuck out there, dude. <laughs> well, that shit happened three different times, dude. Three times we did that. We told kids we don't fuck them, dude. Yeah. If we're not going to win this game, because, like, we weren't, you know. It was 4-2 right. at this point. Yeah. Was, you know, we're on the penalty. Well, and, like, dude, we got so pissed because they put us on a chintzy-ass right. penalty kill. Like, made a dog shit call, completely took away any of our chances to come back. You know what right. I'm saying? So, like, that's why we started taking that route, you know? So, after the third one, finally, dude, the ref blows his fucking whistle. Dude. He's like, that's the game. That's the game. He's like, run the clock. And I'm like, fuck you, run the clock. Dude, we got 42 <laughs> seconds left. I'm on one more hit, bro. Right. He was like, dude, after the game, you know, the, um, the I went up to the ref. And I told him, I was like, hey, like, you're dog shit. <laughs> I'm like, you were dog shit tonight. He was like, what do you mean? I was like, tonight, you were fucking shit. Earlier, today, because he was literally our ref in our morning game on Saturday. I was like, you called an excellent game this morning. I said, I don't know what the fuck happened between that game and this one, but don't ever do it again. Whatever you did in between games, right. don't ever fucking do it again, because you were horrible. And he was like, you know what, man? And like, he actually responded pretty well to me. He was like, you know what, man? I appreciate your honesty. And I was like, wow. good, because take it to fucking heart, because you were that right. dog shit tonight, dude. Like, hey, uh, hey, hey, and I you know what I found out? I found out that that guy is a part-time priest. Oh, oh well, my he Lord. He a punk motherfucker, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my We're going to change gears. Yeah, okay, let's do I, it. I, I, gotta, I, gotta, I have to ask you this question, man. Um, cause you, you, well, you mentioned uh, Native Americans 
team earlier. Yeah, and uh, uh, let, last let, episode let's talk really about great. this because I, like I said, this show I wanted to be controversial. All right, and let's be honest about this shit, bro. Okay, and you, I think you know where I'm going. Nothing, nothing but honest. Yep, okay, let's, let's bring it up. African American players are there. Uh, as far as African American players are concerned, have you guys ran into any African American players, and have there been any racist situations? Against mm. African Americans, so the reason why I'm asking this question because you know you watch all the sports yep, affiliates yep, yep, and whatever, yep, yep. And, 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 and it's just like, even like the way the country is going, right, and has been going, yeah, you know, basically so. since our fucking existence, right. So yes, excellent, <coughs> excellent question, and actually, dude, I find that the black hockey players that I play with <clears throat> are amongst the most classy, respectful hard-working players that you'll ever find in the game of ice hockey because they have to battle such a different type of, ad- of adversity Whew. coming into I'm the I'm glad you sport. said that because yeah. I was going to say Man. they're probably scared. Coming, coming <laughs> no, into just... the sport, it's a, it's a predominantly white sport. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah, like, how many how many guys, how many black guys you see on the ice? Well, because like, they can't Not afford this many. shit, first of all. Get a training. A lot of, right. I, well, yeah, that, that's equipment. that's just, like, where it starts, right? Right. But, I mean, like, and it's been getting better. So, like, you're starting to actually see more and more uh, black hockey players okay. in the sport. Indeed, right. Um, and one of the one of the big reasons, shout out to Coach McCrimmon, Jason McCrimmon. He actually won Jack Henry, I believe it was the Jack Henry Award, uh, in the U.S. or in the NHL, um, like, player award ceremony and shit. He's not in the NHL, but that award is. Um, most influential within a community. So if you look up Jason McCrimmon on the internet, you'll see who he is. He uh, started this program called um, Shit Man. That's what they call shit it? Shit Man. Wow, wow that's a shit, shit, shit man. <laughs> <laughs> Shit's brown. No. <laughs> so, like, Did you say it's brown? Shit Man. No. Usually. No, come on. Yeah, I, yellow. That Shit Man shit should man. definitely shit man been, no. That was my cue to let you guys know that the fucking program, the name of it's like escaping my brain. But he started gotcha. this program in Detroit that basically is giving um, inner city. Was that at Butso? Over in Linden. Center. Is that on Linden? There's two of them. There's one on the east side and there's one on the west, west side. Yes. Yes. And I believe Butso one of them, you know, City Center. Arena. Remember City Arena? Well, they bulldozed it a few years ago, shamingly so. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah. And I don't know why, dude. It was, a, it was the Red Wings old practice facility. It's oh, fucking yeah. Fucking right off of Woodward. Hmm. Yeah. It's literally right, right off of Woodward. Like, wow. Shoot Woodward down. I three. never knew that. Like, bro, you see the entire fucking city from this hockey rink. Okay. Get out. They got rid Man. of it. And I don't know why, dude. It was a nice hockey rink. It was a nice facility. Um, it was probably some backdoor fuck, you know, fucking illich bullshit. You know gotcha. what I'm saying? Right. Like, yep, mm-hmm. yep, yep. Fuck the illiches, low key. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm a have to have two edits in this version here. <laughs> I was, yeah. We've got a proposal on the okay, table for so them right now. Go, real, quick, <laughs> real quick, let me let me get back to just like the like the the, the topic of black hockey players. Um, yeah, dude, I got a lot of respect for those guys because, like I said, they do come into a into a world that's like predominantly white and like. That like, dude, just being in society is probably fucking nerve wracking enough when you find yourself in an area where, like, dude, you're surrounded by nothing but white people. Right now, obviously, like, dude, I'm not black, so I can't speak on mm-hmm. that. It's only what I can imagine it, you know, must right. be like occasionally. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that like all black people are afraid of white people or nothing like right. that, but like, I can understand where guys might, you know, face some adversity coming into the sport being a man of color. Um, that being said. Also, you said, have I ever experienced it? So I haven't directly experienced it myself. Um, but my brother, uh, Derek, Officer Derek Trapp of Shelby Township. Shout out, little brother. Hey. Um, really? I live in wow. Shelby Township. Well, then you ever get think pulled over. Think he arrested over. me. Think you ever, do, you ever get pulled over. <laughs> Shit. Oh, ever, really? Did he? Not that You're off the show, you Vaughn. Ever, you ever You're ever off get, the show. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you ever get pulled over in Shelby, dude? You ever get pulled over in Shelby? Drop. Yeah, literally just big. Hey, dude, Derek Trapp is my white nephew, dude. Oh, okay. Like, Sweet. Some shit like that, bro. Yeah, right. Hey, oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, I mean, the Shelby Township police been to my house a thousand times, man. I got kids who like to throw fucking parties. Oh, we're well, not well, on. You know, they're... But, like, uh, like, hey, like your son's graduation party. Oh, man. This summer. 
The yeah, old people. Do. Yeah, hey, we the old people. We left at about right? 10. Oh, yeah. And I think I saw you on Facebook at 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, face down on my, yeah, on my kitchen floor, man. <laughs> It's the only way to end a yeah, grad right, party. Right, right, right. <laughs> it's the only way to end a grad party. If you had an end a grad party right. like that, you didn't have a fucking grad party. Oh, man, dude. Ooh, anyway. You had a grad gathering. Um, anyway, so, yeah, so uh, my little brother was playing junior hockey for Jason McCrimmon. Oh, okay. Um, and they had, they had a teammate, or my brother had a teammate. Uh, his name is Justin Sessions. And when I tell you, dude, like, this kid's – this kid's got the biggest fucking heart of anybody like you ever met. Like just the nicest, most wholesome kid, you know, just loved loved the game of hockey, loved his teammates, loved everything about it. They go up to Traverse City for the playoffs, for, mm-hmm. for the playoff championship. It's game six and seven up there. Um, so they're up there, dude, and I guess, you know, I'm watching – I'm watching it on online because you know they right. have these you know these little streaming services right. back in the day where you could watch like amateur hockey like right. that. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was watching, and all of a sudden, dude, like just fucking brawls and like out of nowhere, like McCrimmon is fucking screaming over the bench and shit. Well, apparently, coaches, players, and parents were calling Justin. The okay. end. Oh, gotcha. man. Yeah. Like, like, dude, I'm right. talking like get the fuck out of here. Right. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. Wow. No, gotcha. Like get your black, mm, right. I, you know. Yeah. And 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 I, you know, I remember, I remember seeing Justin, man, and, and like, you could see my, like, even on the camera from just watching online, you could see the pain in his face, like, and not even saying like he, like, like his feelings were hurt, but like so. Like, how could you treat somebody like this? And also, like, the pain of, like, it's taking everything in me to not kill you all. Yeah. And and I remember seeing, and, and my brother uh, brings it up, you know, every now and then whenever we get into this topic. Um, you know, like, black hockey players and ice hockey. Um, it, my brother loved it. Loved seeing McCrimmon come up to him. and Because Justin was literally ready to, like, take his skate off and, like, stab somebody. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, like, don't, I don't blame him, dude. Yeah. Like, like, this is amateur hockey. These kids are 16, 17 years old. You're really going to call, you know, a 16, 17-year-old kid? Something like that, dude? Like, that's just not acceptable. And and I remember my brother saying, like, Justin was ready to fucking just go out there and just lose his shit. And McCrimmon reached down and grabs him by his shoulder pads and yanks him back. Mm-hmm. And you see this on camera. You see him whisper something mm-hmm. in Justin's ear. Well, my brother told me that he was saying, like, hey, dude, like, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. Mm-hmm. Let's go beat these motherfuckers on the scoreboard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. Jason played semi-pro hockey in Europe. Wow. As a 6'6", 230 fucking pound black guy on ice. He wasn't who was goalie, goalie, was he? No. He, he blocked the whole dog on that? He, he mainly an enforcer, but Buddy had some skills too. Mm-hmm. Buddy could put the puck in the net and pass the puck pretty well, but like he wasn't scared of nobody. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, just imagine, like, a big black guy skating around in Europe that's just piss-pounding these fucking players. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, so, like, he's going to get that. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, it's, he's the first black guy those guys have ever seen on the ice, wow. for the most part. So hey. he ran into that and was able to bring it to his younger player, you know, that he was mentoring, and kind of, like, guide him on how to get through the shit like mm-hmm. that. Hey. So I respect both of those guys a lot, and I love – any opportunity to tell that story. Hey, well, can, hopefully we didn't blindside you with that question. Fuck no. That was yeah, I know. Uh, I was really uh, good. No, and, and you know what? You, just, you said that something very important. You took the question right out of my mouth. Um, do you guys play against people who may be blind or short or anything like that? Leave uh, me out of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the blind one. Riley and I are the blind uh, ones. I can't You're the see short nothing. one. <laughs> so some wild Those motherfuckers. So some wild motherfuckers up in Canada. I thought it was a good idea to start a blind hockey player. <laughs> are you serious? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm unaware of its current success and or failure. Let's go. Oh, that. did they win? I mean, did they I'm pretty sure. The league is actually, no, group, no, no, no. I'm pretty sure the league, like, still acting. All right, but it's funny that you do ask that. And, like, dude, disabilities ain't funny. I'm not. Nah, you know, right, like, right. nothing yeah, like are. that. Nah. But nah, I'll never nah. forget, dude. My dog shit grades one semester left me uh, – um, having to play for our Division Three hockey team down in college. And obviously, D1 is where you want to be because we had two programs. We had a Division One team and a Division Three team. Mm. Well, you get bad grades, you can't play D1. So I had to go play D3. And um, 
<laughs> that is stupid. Grades determine D1 or D. That is so crazy. It's yeah, some that's bullshit. Crazy. Yeah, that's bro, crazy. It's some fucking bullshit. What do you mean I can't play D1 hockey, but I can play D3 <laughs> hockey? Right. Literally, we're what on the, the ice the same amount of fucking times a week. Yeah. Right. What the fuck is that you shit? Know what? I tried to protest it, dude, but fucking Burkhart had a fucking AD's wiener so far up his ass. Gotcha. He didn't even fucking know, dude. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that guy, bro. Hey, I'm what's so an AD? I mean, I'm just want to make sure. Athletic director. Okay, there oh, we go. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure it didn't stand for something else. It's ad dick. Too. Yeah, absolute yeah. dickhead. You know, yeah. Absolute dickhead. <laughs> That's what AD stands for. Yeah. Absolute dickhead. Now it's even worse because the fucking women's basketball coach is also the athletic director. Oh boy. Oh. Which like, dude, fucking budgets shot down for all the other teams, but women's uh, basketball team got a fucking brand new court. Man, but of but course. Whatever. We're not gonna get the fuck into that because. <laughs> That's just another thing. I don't even remember what the fuck I was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, oh, yeah. Yeah, D3. Yeah. Oh, the D3, D3 team. Yeah. D3 team. So we're playing this fucking game, dude. We're getting ready to go on the ice for warm-ups. I'm actually one of my uh, best friends from college. That's how we met. We're playing on the D3 th- D3 team together. And he comes up to me, dude. I'm, you know, I'm the captain, so I'm like the first one standing at the door getting the boys ready to get on the ice. And my buddy Joff comes running up to me and taps me. Traps, traps. He's like, look at that. Look at that. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about, Joff? He's like, just wait. So, like, the other team, like, takes the ice, dude. And I shit you not, bro. This kid with a fucking prosthetic leg. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Steps onto the ice. Jeez. And skates. And, like, dude, is fucking just. Good? Yeah, bro. Just <laughs> skating around. And, like, come to find out, buddy lost his leg in the military. So, wow. like. Huge props to that Seriously. kid, right? Wow. Like, okay. huge props. Like, first of all, I couldn't even imagine how many immature fucking kids chirped him for that shit. For real, yeah. You know what I'm just... saying? Like, playing ice, I was like, oh, dude, this kid's got no fucking like. But, like, at the end, dude, we lost our, our second game to that team. Did really? Wow. Yeah, dude, we lost our second game to that team. And, like, low-key, dude, they were absolute dog shit. Like, they were fucking horrible. It was U of M Flint. They were fucking bad. Uh, but... Uh-oh. They were fucking... They were... <laughs> they were <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy knows. They were a bad fucking hockey team. They... they But, dude, they showed up on... Because, uh, we, you know, most games were Friday, Saturday, split, home away. Um, That's right. Uh-oh. Gulp that up, Gulp baby. break. Gulp it up. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, dude, my fucking coach walks into the locker room after we lose that game. And he's fucking livid. Breaks his fucking board over his knee, his hockey board, and he goes, "We just lost to a fucking team with a player that don't got no fucking legs." <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro. Listen, dude. I almost pissed my pants, bro. Like. I couldn't even take the ash chewing serious. <laughs> yeah. at that point. I'm like, you did not just walk up in here and say that shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Dude, he's like, do y'all motherfuckers want to go play sledge hockey, man? Like, because that's just, that's the one where like they're actually like sitting down on a fucking sledge. Right, 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 right. He's like, you guys want to go fucking play sledge hockey? He's like, they probably still kick your ass out there. We play like that. And I'm like, dude, I'm still trying to get over the fact that you just said what you said. But um, yeah. So you know, obviously, adversity is a huge part of the game. Whether it be like physical disability or or uh, race yeah. or whatever it may be, and that's the beauty of ice hockey, man. There you it's go for everybody. Yeah, you know what the beauty of this is too, dude. This is a first. First of all, Bad and Bougie Bros. Last year, Corno Podcast. This year, Bad and Bougie Bros. Sports Podcast. This is a first that we've had. Two segments. Two segments yeah. with one guest. With one guest. Yeah. You know what? I guess what. I think we're going to have a third with you and bring I want you to, next time you yes. come, bring somebody with you. Bring Seriously. your brother. Bring your yeah, brother yeah, with him. Yeah. Because we got to talk about that. Yeah, awesome. Seriously, awesome. we have to have that episode. Because I want to see you two fuckers talk shit. Oh, Did yeah, your brother yeah. shit talker too? Bro, like listen, his big brother. Listen, dog, you think I was funny? You think I was entertaining? Oh, I bet dude. you guys go that off each other really Yeah, bro, too. and that motherfucker will have you rolling. Okay, well, <laughs> done deal. have you rolling. He's the silliest motherfucker. He's like, low-key though, like, when he's gonna walk up in here and be like, it smells like pig up in this place. <laughs> <laughs> sure, bro. Motherfucker look like a cop from fucking 200 yards away. You know what? It's but, what we want your family to be proud, man. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. we yeah. are son talking shit like and that. And we fucking are, dude. That's right. Don't get me wrong, man. Dude, brothers in the military. He's a cop now. So proud of my man. You know what? Seriously. Oh, dude, I get to meet him then. Yeah. Right? He's yeah. Shelby Township. 
<clears throat> oh yeah, that's that. Uh, that's the same guy. There you go. Okay. Yeah, yeah oh, dude. I'll text you. Him. Yeah, I'll text you next time he's on his shift, bro. Just tell Say your th- kids to throw a wild party, bro. <laughs> 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 Trust me, they will. Yeah. Hey, dude. Well, look, we gotta hit it. We gotta hit it. But man, Damn, thank, you. That thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, bro. Fuck really. Yeah, man. Like Thanks when you were 16 me, years old on top of your first babe, and went by that quick. Thanks for it. Yeah, for thirteen. Oh, oh, my man. Okay, okay. My man. For real. 13. God damn. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to speak on it. Show no, off. hey, hey, it was Show prom off. night. It was prom night and it was like. Prom night. Not 13. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 but it was her prom. Oh, yeah, bro. It was her prom. He went up here. You cooler than that. Yeah. He had a beard. He had a beard back then, you know. Yeah. Fucking you, man. He was a child, dude. Hey, Dr. Vaughn, thank you so much, man. Yeah, thank you for coming. Dr. Vaughn, we, Dr. we like that. Bro, this was so you much fun. You think we could fucking rip one more shot before yeah. we end the show? You know oh, hold on, hold on. I got to get my sound. Got to get the sound together. <laughs> Y'all ready? Absolutely, man. Ladies Absolutely. and gentlemen, uh, the Bat and Bougie Bros Sports Podcast. We uh, Riley's going to have hey. mine. I'm gonna Riley's going to have mine. Yeah, yeah. You don't Tito's. want those? No, here, there's Riley. Riley's going to have mine for me. Y'all ready to hit it? Whoever's going to hit I'm, it, let's I'm, go. Yeah, man. Tito's one only for the dogs. All right. So we're going to kick it off. This kick is it. the Bad and Bougie Bros Sports Podcast, episode four. God damn, that's We are rolling I out, and cool let's hit it. Now right. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks again, right, Vaughn. Thank you. Peace to you, brother. Amen. Season two. Thanks, man. Peace, man.